Hey everybody, this is it, the final stand for our first attempt at a Four Island victory. Everything has gone amazingly so far, but if it's gonna go wrong, this is when it's gonna go wrong. I think you should be closest to the front, okay. Every unit is equipped the way we want them to be. We're very familiar with most of their abilities, all of their abilities. Um, don't, like, this is the most important thing for me right now. This is exhilarating. Make sure you're out of the environmental hazard before you press the end turn button, or I'll never forgive you. Okay. Turn one doesn't seem that bad. Turn one seems great. So I'll tell you, here's what my thought process is right now. You come here, punch this guy onto the spawn and he'll block it. You just have to move. Probably here. No, that's not good. Because I want you to freeze this guy, but... Okay, maybe there's a better way. Because my next move is going to be tank here and then shoot, but then that gets rid of our shield, which I prefer not to do. Because it makes the frost tank a lot less useful. Can't quite make it there, huh? Neither can the tank. So you're, you're a tricky... You're a tricky situation. Th to be fair, this guy's not really attacking anything except for our own mech. What if we did tank here? We'll push you. You won't die. And that's irritating. I really like the idea of freezing you. But we still gotta find... No, we, freezing him is a bad idea. Our other... Oh, we can't get there with you. Okay, well, I'm... Officially, not as stoked about this turn as I was a minute ago. All because of this guy. I think you can still do... Well, we can still do our original turn. Or, how much damage do you do? Three. That doesn't matter. Get it right. This turn is okay. Kill you and the rocks, as much as we might prefer to not kill the rocks. Freeze the building. You'll die and block a spawn, so you'll live and two enemies will spawn. I think that works. Yeah. Again, you're probably going to say, why not freeze this guy? We couldn't make it work. Try as we might, we couldn't get him in a, in a good position to be frozen. I just think this is so much better than leaving our, uh, our cryo mech without a shield, which would make them super nerfed for the remainder of the game. Alright, we got a much easier squad to deal with this time. Watch out for the yellow squares. They did not watch out for the yellow squares. Okay, you've made it a little too easy on me here, and that's, uh, I'm offended. Because I don't need, I don't need your handouts. So the easy money turn... <coughs> pardon me. Is very easy. You put a shield on yourself. By flipping this guy around. You can flip any of them, it doesn't really matter. You come here and block a spawn. And shoot. Does break my shield, but that's okay. Now that you're dying to an environmental hazard, and you're dying to an environmental hazard, we'll just move one space up. Nobody's on dangerous yellow squares. And we'll freeze our tank so it doesn't take damage on spawn. Really trying to double check before we end turns here. Wonderful turn. 
This is the exact situation we asked for. Three enemies, three of us. Mathematically, like, almost nothing can hurt us if we're in this spot. So, step one, right off the bat. What's the Scion Tyrant again? Yeah, all player units take one damage. Alright. Obviously not sweet. What I'm thinking is you go here. Shoot this guy into the lava. And you kill the Scion Tyrant in one fell swoop. You block spawn. In fact, wait, there's a better move. You come... Ah, oh, but I can't freeze you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You come here. Just murder this guy. You block spawn. You lose your shield. That's completely okay. And then end turn. You can't freeze anybody. We're only gonna have two enemies next turn. First phase of the mission, absolute cakewalk. What do we got? Basic firefly and an alpha beetle. Okay, so tank has to move. Just don't be stupid. That won't kill you, but it will push you. And being on fire doesn't matter at this point. You would just give him a little shield swipe, put a shield on yourself. Oh, on you. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, the thing is, I could shoot. But then, I mean, he's not doing anything, but what do we care, right? Like, still might as well freeze him. Or at, rather, what if we freeze this guy? Does that take away fire? At least we can learn something. Yeah. Extinguish. You can tell by the smoke particle effects. The rock is going to get hit. Cryo Launcher is not going to get hit. That's the end of the first phase. The easiest money mankind has ever made was just made. Heading down to phase two. This is where things tend to get a little bit more real. But we also have, like, by far the strongest squad we've ever seen. We're starting with five enemies. I don't love that. I'll admit, this is where it seems nice to have another tank. Just for one other, like, pushing action per turn. Even if the one damage isn't worth much. Alright. We also still have full grid power and a 31% resistance chance. Beautiful situation. Okay, hazards are our friend here. Until they're our enemy. This is a good situation. As much as it might seem like it's not. Because this guy's attacking in a line that we can just leave. The danger is we need to kill him without hurting any of our own stuff. You're a genuine problem, but I think freezing is good enough to get the job done. But yeah, well, we could also just push this thing out of the way, couldn't we? Um, so here's the thing, I can just punch you. That kills you, but because you're not attacking a building of any sort, it seems unnecessary. I could kill you, and this seems way better, because you are attacking a building. Then what would our other move be? This guy's the real conundrum. It's like, the thing is, I'd prefer to do this without taking any grid damage. How much damage do you do? Three damage? Could I live with this? Because here's what I'm thinking. No, you're stupid. Go here. Yeah, it's so much better this way. Shoot him. He'll die before you can attack. You get frozen. You get punched.
Nobody's on an environmental hazard. End turn. Please don't kill the Renfield bomb because of my stupidity. This turn, if it goes the way that it should, may have just won us the game. Okay, obviously we need to move. <laughs> But this is our perfect situation. No, it's not perfect, because we have four enemies. But it's close to perfect. You being frozen, I think, is great. Because then this enemy, unless they can fly, I think they're just stuck. Is any enemy not attacking a building? No. So we're very much kind of looking for a, a two-parter. I don't see one. Ah, I sort of see one offhand. What's the two-parter? Smoke here stops you, stops you. We flip you and block a spawn. Then the only thing the tank has to do is get you. But it can't. So we could let the Renfield bomb be attacked for one and we'll block the spawn. So how would that look? Hold up. There's gotta be a better move than that. Like that seems, that's actually completely fine. We could definitely... Oh, we can't really block all three spawns, because this guy's got to go. I'd really like to get it, like, no grids lost. You're the annoying one. I can kill you. If it's like a punch, and then a tank shot, you die. But that leaves you and you. And there's no smoke pattern that takes you both out. So I need to kill you. And I... You see the problem, right? Like if I push this guy backwards one, he still hits. I think I might need to push him forwards one. And it seems like he would still hit the building at the back. It seems like that would be a good opportunity to try it and use our reset turn if necessary. So it would be like this. You come here, you jump over this guy. Hopefully, his attack would be cancelled. Then, you would smoke these two units. Let's just make sure that's even possible. Yes. Now cancel that move. <laughs> and then you would just murder this guy. And give yourself a shield. It blocks zero spawns, but it also risks zero grid damage if it works. This push doesn't matter, I think. His attack does not get cancelled, so we'll reset turn. I'm okay with that. I still think we're in an amazing spot. I just don't want to risk it too much. The other thing we could do is just sack this building to block a spawn and kill you. 69% chance to sack it anyway, like this. It doesn't really solve some of our remaining problems. Like, what do we do about this guy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the answer to your question. Teleporting would be so useful here. This guy would still hit this building. Freezing it would not do enough. It's a it's a frustrating turn, to be real with you. Okay, I have, a, I have one more move that I should have seen earlier. Flip this guy, he kills this guy. That's two buildings saved. Tank Lord still has no play to kill the Alpha Crab.
And there's no smoke pattern that gets them both. I believe. This one is a bummer. I feel like I'm missing a line, but I'm taking my sweet time in case that's not abundantly clear. It's also like, if we could just move a rock out of the way, then this guy... Like, what if we jump him over here? He shoots a rock. The other guy doesn't get pushed at all. If we come over here... You get pushed. And push you and... Wouldn't kill you, so that's not very good. I can at least jump out of here and push you, but th does that do much? This leads to one Renfield damage, which is not that bad. I thought we already had a better one Renfield damage turn. I apologize for this taking so long. But it is kind of important. So another move, and I think this one's okay. Punch this guy, he does one damage here. Tank Lord, who has to move anyway, takes a shot, kills you. These two are dead. You let this guy rip it up, and you freeze this guy. We'll have four enemies next turn. Let's evaluate that against uh, some other turns here. Turn B. I punch you, you die. We probably lose a power. Right off the bat, I don't like it that much. You get frozen, or like, I don't know, you get smoked, and you get stuck there for a turn. I don't even know what you do next turn. Can you even move? If you end up in smoke, you might not be able to move. But the tank still has no means to get here. One, two, three. You only have four? You only have four moves. Okay. You could smoke here. These two guys stop attacking, but what do you do about this guy? It's like there's no way to do all of what we want to do. So I think we do this. You need to move, though. We could lose two power. And that doesn't sit right with me. But it kills a lot of enemies. It leaves one weird enemy alive. Three more are gonna spawn. The Renfield bomb takes no damage. We got a lot of iceable targets, and then we could lose two power. And we did lose two power. Alright, a Scion and two Alpha enemies. Okay, this is a much better Beetle situation for us. So I think you want to... We can still punch this guy one away, and that's fine. You know what I'm thinking, is like... If the tank pushes the Alpha Crab one... It ends up getting knocked into the drink. But we really want to kill the Scion as well. If the tank pushes the Beetle one, it gets knocked into the drink. Also valid. Admittedly, I'm kind of looking at, at it almost as if, like, just freeze. Okay, I, I, I really want to kill the Scion. Freezing the Scion is not good enough. It might literally mathematically be good enough, but it's not good enough for my standard right now. Six move. If we freeze you... You come over... Ooh, ooh, what am I doing? <laughs> they just have so much HP that, like, 
your number one instinct is like, shoot him in the drink. Which is easy. But we gotta remember, the beetle is kind of irrelevant. The alpha crab is a big priority. So you either want to freeze or kill him. And then the scion is a huge priority. You want to kill him, but the only way you can kill him, really, is via the, uh... Is via this guy. Because the tank will end up shooting its own building, unless... No, it can't quite make it down there. Can it make it down there if we do, like, this? No, it still can't. Because then we could freeze the alpha crab. I'm way overthinking these. <clears throat> well, we do still have smoke. So we could smoke these two guys. You get out, kill the Scion. Tank goes over the lava. <coughs> Will not be on fire. Pushes this guy onto the, onto the fire. be like smoke kill kill it just feels like there's a better turn I know I'm like this is ridiculous now I'm taking five minutes per turn but this is the final mission of the game so I hope you'll forgive me it's really all about the Renfield bomb if we can keep the Renfield bomb alive which this smoke does a really good job of because they can only attack it either from these two spots or from a distance I hate that you're killable in one punch. <coughs> well, do I? What if I freeze you, you punch the alpha crab to death, leave the scion alive, or just kill... No, okay, I gotta, I've gotta... Oh, you can't get down there for the 500th time. Still kind of like that because it takes an enemy out permanently. You're the tank. Don't do that. Artillery. So you come here. You're out of the hazard range. Freeze this guy. You're safe now. Like, after 500 years, have I spotted the play? We have dash available, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. We could so easily just do this and kill this power, but that seems so cheesy that I'm against it. And I know that seems like it's pretty big coming from me, but... The other thing is, we could come here. You're probably saying, why haven't you been doing this? Well, I really don't want to free a man from the ice if I can avoid it. Even if it does get a kill, it frees the same exact man. I think in the end, I have to accept. This is probably my turn. We only have... Like, the Renfield Bomb is fine on HP. We all take one damage to the Psionic Attack. But that freed me... from my, uh... Ice Prison, I think. Which is hilarious. All we need to do is defend the Renfield Bomb. So we have won a four island victory. No, well, yeah, because these guys are going to resurrect and then who cares? In the interest of not being stupid, let's make sure we don't stupid this up. That's our tank's attack. Essentially two kills. No, then it writes itself, doesn't it? Freeze you. 
Kill the Scion. Shoot these things. You're fine. Let's do it. End turn. Everybody safe? Everybody safe. We've done it. Took a long time. Half of a week of episodes, but look at that. Four island victory. Pretty clean. Pretty clean victory, I gotta say. Now I'm feeling good. I feel like I'm so much more in my groove than I was like a week ago playing this game. We were smooth, calculated, cool, collected, suave, charismatic, I hope, entertaining, and getting a few of the backseaters off of my bat. Well, you could have saved a couple of grid power on turn four. Shut it. We're today and only today. We're tactical lords. Four island victory. Yes, I just hit print screen. I think we're gonna keep Bethany. She's just too good. And then we have seven power. We'll probably go for like these guys. Hazardous mix? Maybe. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.